Would I be opposed to Gregory Q. Williams being the head coach of the Cleveland Browns following forward? Well, let me say this. If him and Frederick Q. Kitchens perform admirably, say they finish outright, they went outright. Or say they just go six and one, whatever. I believe the first loss against KC, you know, they, you know, first time, first week, whatever. But say they perform like they did yesterday. I don't see. I don't think there's any doubt that Greg Williams. Because I'll be honest with you, this is, looks like a totally different team out of the tutelage of Greg Williams. Discipline. The players love him. He's a disciplinarian. He's not a fucking Mike Tomlin, Hugh Jackson bootlicker. He gets. He get demands respect. So uh, and then Freddie Kitchens. Listen, he made one mistake, two mistakes. Other than that, and his other mistake was the uh, pre- the uh, prevent offense at the end, playing it safe. Look, you got a quarterback. Who just let him throw? Let him fucking throw. But yeah, I'm not opposed to seriously bringing it back next year like this if we finish out the year strong. You can tell Mayfield will grow substantially under the tutelage and guidance of Kitchens. So yeah, I believe these guys have a shot to retain their jobs. I really do. I think John Dorsey's looking at it right now. If they play like this the rest of the season, I don't think there's any doubt that Gregory Q. Williams will have their head coaching job. And I don't see the reason why he wouldn't. I can already immediately know the difference between. It's almost like the Mike Patton uh, when we had Mike Patton. The team was disciplined. It's almost like that, but a little bit better. Cleveland looked like an NFL offense last yesterday until they started playing a prevent offense. Defensively, that team was a. Hey, one thing about Gregory G. Williams that hit uh, Jabril Peppers made to save the game at the goal line because I was that, that he was going in for sure and he hit him, stopped him, and it's just a momentum changer. But. um he plugs basically anyone, anyone in in his defense. And I will say this. I like the fact that he played a lot of cover two yesterday. Usually this cat just brings the house and plays man. And they get beat by these long passes, whatever. I hate that. I like the fucking the cover two defense yesterday. I liked it a lot better than what he usually plays. Bend, don't break. I like that. So, yeah, I, don't, I, I believe that Gregory Q. Williams and uh, Todd Q. Kitchen have a chance to uh, retain their jobs if they finish strong. And I'm not talking, you know, play great like that and lose. They have to win. You can't play great and lose. You have to win. The Browns went outright. They'll be 9-6-1, and one, and I believe they can do it. Now, here's the funny thing about it. Taking into account the games we should have won this year, we should have beat the Buccaneers. We should have beat the Saints. That's two. We should have beat the Raiders. That's three. The first Steeler game, I don't even count that one because we, we got a lucky break with, a, no, with Nick Chubb. He touched the ball. So I accept that loss. There's three games, I believe, that we should have won instead of losses. And you're looking at an entirely different team. Instead of 3-6-1, and one, you're looking at 6-3-1. Uh, and one. Think about it. That's all you need to know. Six, we should be, hey, honestly, we should be a 6-3-1 and one team. The only teams we really got beat by were, well, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. We should be a 5 Four and one team. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, we should be a six, three, and one team. The only teams really got beat by Pittsburgh, the Chargers, and Kansas City. No, 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 no. I didn't want to. That's the only teams we we should be a six, three, and one team because that tie, the tie was acceptable. So we should be six, three, and one. The Saints game, we should have won that game. We blew it. The kicker missed all the kicks, and we had Tyrod Taylor for crying out loud. We had that game won. The Tampa Bay game, we should have won that game. And the Raider game, we got robbed of. So. You're looking at a 6 3 one team. We should be. And I believe if uh, they would have fired uh, Hugh Jackson, we would be that. We would have fired Hugh Jackson like he should have. But Jimmy has him fucked everything up. We'd be 6 3 one at least. So, um, yeah, I believe Greg Williams and Todd W. Kitchens could uh, retain their jobs. I really believe that. Because Mayfield looked good yesterday. Looked good. And uh, Mayfield's going to be a superstar in this league. You can just see it. And you know what, damn well, he didn't want to hand the ball off yesterday. He wanted to throw the ball. Nick Chubbs, I'm not going to lie to you, in preseason, he looked like garbage. I'm going to tell you something. He's a fucking stud. Fast, powerful. He's a beast. You look at the draft John Dorsey had. Nick Chubbs, Denzel Ward, and Mayfield. And then you got Jannard Avery. And that Harris said, hey, he he ain't done yet. That uh, offensive lineman, that undrafted, whatever. They really had a great draft. We had a good draft. 
So this Browns team, yesterday, like I said, they made one mistake in the opening drive. That stupid direct snap to Nick Chubb. Just run the ball. The second mistake was the fucking um, wishbone when they had the fucking Hilliard pass the ball. You Don't do that. You don't even want a quarterback throwing across the green like that. Body, whatever. And the third mistake was at the end of the game, they were trying to prevent... Uh, trying to run the clock out. No, you got to score. Good team. You know what good teams do? They put the foot on the pedal there. The Saints were doing it when they were up by 30. That's what good teams do. So, that being said, I believe Kitchens, uh, you know, I believe he'll overcome that. I do like his play calling. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little run heavy, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Oh, Brashad Perriman's starting to look like a fucking beast. Uh, Callaway's looking like a beast. I'm telling you, these guys are going to grow. And Cleveland's going to be a dominant fucking team. I'm telling you, it's happening right before our eyes. And I'm pretty fucking pumped up about it. I'm just sickened. I'm sickened that we gave up the fucking early games of the season because Jimmy Haslam's a retard. But I'm going to tell you, we can go 9-6-1. and one. That will get us in the playoffs. I really believe that. And even if it doesn't, I want to win every game out. I do. It's a different team under Greg. It's a different team under the tutelage and guidance of Gregory G. Williams. You can just see it. It's a different fucking team. Go fuck Stain. So, I'm pretty pumped up. Go. I'm giving you the whole way, you dickhead. Yeah. Anyway, Cleveland Browns are stacked. They're loaded. They got a lot of talent. And they got a superstar quarterback, uh, franchise quarterback. Uh, for the people out there, I mean, there's only a few people. That, if, you, if you don't think Mayfield's a franchise quarterback, then you obviously don't football. He's a franchise quarterback. I mean, everyone, you just watch Brian Baldinger. He he knows it. The only people that don't think so are fucking people that just don't know football. They're trying to find a reason so they can be like, skip Bayless. Mayfield is a fucking stud. Accept it move on.